Hey everyone. Yeah, I'm using my Kindle and it's in 720, so I apologize for that. But I thought I'd kind of talk about something real quick before my mom or even my nephew comes over. You see, we're basically, we're getting my nephew, uh, at least for tonight, because my brother-in-law and my older sister are going out of town to celebrate his 40th birthday. So, yeah, so we got him for tonight, and that's basically about it. And again, I don't know when my mom's going to show back up, so uh, I thought I'd do this real quickly. But I know a lot of people, you know, I haven't gotten the issue yet, but from what I've read from the reviews and from what I've seen, a lot of people are saying that they have, the Ian Flynn has de-aged Loop, Loop Wolf, Lupe, uh, originally introduced in Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Fatty M, a Cry of the Wolf episode that they had de-aged her now to basically the fact that she, in, in the eyes of some, is almost a junior to Sally. In other words, she's younger than Sally. And I know some people are not particularly fond of this because basically it takes away a lot of things they liked about Lupe. One, it takes away the fact that she was older, if not wiser, you know, she was a warrior princess, in a sense, or a warrior grand chief. She had a family. And now that, basically because of the soft retcon reboot, depending on how you look at it, uh, has all been taken away. And she's just a leader of a group of wolf pack freedom fighters. As well as she is a Gaia guardian. That's right, she is a guardian of the, she's one of the guardians of the Gaia temple. So with that said, so with that said, is Loop's change that bad? Well, when everybody first saw her redesign at San Diego Comic Con, and the picture was uploaded to several uh, to several websites like the Sega forums, courtesy of myself and a few others, as well as at DeviantArt and places, a lot of people really didn't have a problem. They basically looked at it like, okay, this is this very, this basically her her redesign was that her redesign was basically very similar to her original design. The only difference was a few alterations here and there, but it was basically almost identical in a sense. Clothing, yes, was different, you know, and it, like I said, there were a few alterations here and there, but it was still very much the same. From what other people have noticed is it seems to be the fact that this redesign, a more segified version, that like I said is closer to the original design in the comics and everything, except for the clo except for the clothing being changed, and like I said, a few alterations here and there, some have said that it's almost very similar, if not identical, to what her original Sat AM design was. Yeah, the original Sat AM design. So, overall, a lot of people seem to be okay with it, except for a few of those alterations and tweaks. Because basically, it's very similar, if not identical, uh, to the original design. The only problem I think that they have, really, is the age. Basically, you've taken someone that is essentially looked up as the senior, like I said, I think I said this, the, the senior of basically Sonic and Sally, basically someone that is older, has a family and all that, and you've basically turned her into a teenager. Some have said that by reading the book and looking at the flashbacks, that she is younger than Sally now. She's younger than Sonic. And I have to disagree with that, really. I, I kind of have to disagree with that because I don't think she's totally younger than Sonic and Sally. I think, in a sense, as I said in my Animated Girl Profiles Confidential that I did on her, I believe she's about the same age as both characters. She's kind of in between that. Like, let's say Sally and Sonic are supposedly like 17, 16, 
She's around that age range. I think she's about 16, 17 herself. The only reason she looks younger is because of the fact is a lot of fans are so used to seeing her as she was, being a very statuous uh, young uh, female wolf mother, uh, grandmaster, whatever. You know, they're, they're used to that design. Seeing her like this, yes, the design is very similar to what she had before, but she looks younger. And again, it pretty much, and again, you pretty much de-aged her to be about the, to be about the same age. Now, is that a bad thing? It all depends. You see, media doesn't matter which kind of media it is, comic books, movies, cartoons. They've been known to do this throughout history. G.I. Joe, which is one of my fa personal favorite uh, cartoons and franchises growing up, when they did the G.I. Joe Resolute on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim website and then put all those mini episodes together as a movie on DVD, I noticed that one major change they did was dial tone. Now everybody, if you were a fan of the G1 G.I. Joes, remember that dial tone was, a, was male. He was a mustached male with a barrette and everything. Heck, he was one of the guys helping to put together the BET in G.I. Joe the movie. However, when G.I. Joe Resolute came around, they completely changed dial tone to being a female, a young female character. That's the truth. If you watch Resolute, dial tone has been gender switched into a young female character. Now, some might say, okay, that's obvious to, that's, that's an obvious nod to kind of show more, to, you know, create more female characters and all that for the female fan base. And that might be true, and that might be true in the opinions of a lot of people. But the point I'm making is, these kind of changes happen whether we like them or not. So when you have someone like Loop end up being de-aged to be not younger, in my opinion, but basically about the same age or around the same age range as Sonic and Sally, then you pretty much, you pretty much have something here that may or may not work. Again, I think the reason being is because people were so used to seeing her being older than Sonic and Sally, being taller than them, and in a sense kind of giving them some advice, being, a, being older and being able to give them, give, give them some advice from her experience. Now you practically have her about as the same age as them. But the only question, but I think the question a lot of fans have is why? Why the sudden de-age of Loop? You know, why change her? It's like, okay, we can understand and accept the redesign because it's very similar to the original with a few exceptions, but why go as far as to make her about the same age as Sonic, Sally, and the others? It's kind of the same, well, it's kind of that same question that myself and a lot of fans still have about the Nickelodeon TMNT series. When that first began, and even till now, we always have the question of, why did you de-age April and Casey and Karai? Why did you make April a teenager? And pretty much the answer I think we got from the creators as well as other people around was to allow her to grow up with the turtles so it feels more realistic. It feels more authentic. You know, because basically she's growing up with these four instead of meeting them as an adult. Kind of basically makes it more realistic, more accepting, I guess. Now, even though we could kind of accept that answer in a sense and be like, okay, and it, basically what you're saying is this is just another version of the turtles. Like this is another dimension they're in. Because, oh, by the way, they did an episode that pretty much showed that with the 80s cartoon turtles being showcased in one dimension and the Nickelodeon turtles in their dimension. So again, so again, pretty much it's just another alternate universe version of the turtles. Okay, we get that. 
And that's fine. If, and that's fine. If you want to do that, go that direction. But again, it goes back to what I'm talking about. Certain, but again, it goes back to what I'm talking about. The reason they made April in this incarnation of the Turtles a teenager was so it's more authentic, more real, more appropriate, I guess. Um, more appropriate, I guess, because she's not an adult, you know, hanging out with teenagers, even if they're mutants. And oh, by the way, she's growing up with them, so she has a better understanding who each and every one of them are and why they and why they act the way they do, and why they do the things they do. And oh, in this version, she's half mutant. But getting back on track here, getting back to Loop here, basically that's very similar to Loop. When the reboot happened, the soft reboot, if you will, happened, and yes, I still call it that no matter what people think, because I believe it's still a soft reboot, because let's face it, they still kind of, remember the original timeline and stuff like that. If it was a total reboot, they wouldn't remember any of that. Get my, get my drift? So anyway, long story short, so anyway, getting back on track, I should say. You know, with the soft reboot happening and everything, Ian Flynn obviously saw the opportunity to take a page out of what he probably heard about, heard about what they did in the, with Nickelodeon and other shows and all that. And said, you know what? And just my opinion, just my opinion. He probably figured, you know what? If it works for them, it can work for us. Let's take Dulcy. I mean, not Dulcy, but let's take Lupe. And instead of making her as she was with her redesign and everything, her sacrificed redesign, let's make her younger. Let's make her the same age as Sonic and Sally so that she's growing up with them. She's not older than them. She's not a mother. She's not this. She's not a grand chief. She is a younger character. And again, to me, I believe that's why he did it. He saw what was going on in other avenues, like with Nickelodeon's Ninja Turtles and several other places, and decided, you know what, if it works there, it can work here. And I think that's why he did it. You see, that's why a lot of people sometimes go with these reboots, soft or total reboots, if you will, is the fact that they see an opportunity to take a character they feel should be a different age or have a different kind of personality that would fit what they're doing or who they are, and they go with it. They, have, they see the opportunity, and they go with it. And that's obviously what he did with Loop. He probably saw that Lupe's character was kind of out of place as, as an adult, as a grand chief, and all that, basically... You know, the mother of children that are about almost the same age as Sonic and Sally, in a sense, and felt like, you know what, it'd be better if she was their age, Sonic and Sally's age. It'd be better if she was growing up with them. And you know what, when you go back to the Cry of the Wolf episode, that's probably where he got his inspiration. Because, again, a lot of people said the design, the redesign, has similarities uh, to her Sadie Am design with the with her hair coloring and tail and all that. That when you watch the episode and how she mentions in a flashback her father was captured, it kind of gives you an idea that maybe she is the same age as Sonic, maybe the same age as Sally. The only difference is her being a wolf. She's more statuesque in size. So. It's probably where he got the idea to make her about the same age. So, but, you know, that's just my opinion on it. I think, honestly, you know, it's his, it was the decision that was made, and we just got to see how it goes, and, hey, it might, be, it might work. Because some people, I'm pretty sure, will look at this and be like, you know what, this fits, this is better, because, you know, she doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like she's out of place. Some might feel like, some might say, yeah, it doesn't feel out of place anymore. It's like, it's appropriate. They're all growing up together now. They're all fighting as teenagers against this war to fight, to get their freedom back, to get the planet back. So, we'll get the planet back together. So, we'll just see what happens from there. But, that's my opinion on the whole, uh, on Loop's, on the whole uh, Loop redesign and de-aging, if you will. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I am out.